welcome back to my channel i am crystal the praying piscean if you are new here welcome to my channel you probably seen my last video it's probably about close to 10 months ago i think it had to be about 10 months ago um it's been a while i've been dealing with thyroid eye disease or ted i call him the vampire because with thyroid eye disease you know i really only was coming out at night for a while I was, I was diagnosed with thyroid eye disease back in like 2015, which was, you know, which was a clear sign of hyperthyroidism. To make a long story short, I got over it in 2019, but I still had to deal with Ted. Um, hold on. Okay, yeah. I still had to deal with Ted. I call him the vampire. <laughs> Um, cause I really, for a long time, I could only come out at night and then at night it hurt because the lights from the cars, the street, you name it. But I am good now. Um, the Graves disease, I've been over. I've been over the Graves disease for a while, but it was a thyroid eye disease. It kind of sticks. Um, I use stuff like this. Um, this is what it looks like. It's gel. I had some more prescription drops. I've had all kind over the last several years. Um, they have treatments like Tepeza and different things like that. If you see the commercials now, they'll say, have you been dealing with it for years? They talk about people like me. But as you can see, my eyes have gotten better. If you've been on my channel before, you've seen it. Um, you've seen like, you know, the different stages of my eyes or whatever. Um, and how it's been. So... I said that, you know, I come on. I've been dealing with depression from that too. And then also I have been going through just keeping myself healthy um, because I started uh, losing weight a few years ago, about three years ago. If you came on my channel then, you seen I was like 238, 240 um, around when I first started making videos uh, way before COVID. And um, I was, and I'm 5'3", I was 238, almost 240. Um, right now I'm 155. Um, I just made it to a size 9. I'm not, I don't go by like, um, I should have put this on my tripod. Um, I don't really go by too, by, like, by the scale so much. Um, y'all, my hair been going like crazy. But my hair always kind of be more. I just keep it pressed. I, I need to touch it up though, because I got it pressed ready. I got pretty long. I'm pretty pretty long now. But, um, yeah, so I forgot what I was saying like that fast. But, um, oh. Yeah, so. I'm 155 now. I don't too much go a lot on weight as much as I did when I was losing weight because it was more calorie deficit and cardio. That's easy. That was easy for me because I had a treadmill. I started on a treadmill and just with like little weight bands. Um, I'll talk more about that. But y'all, yeah, I'm down to 155. I did hit a plateau about a year a little bit over a year and a half ago maybe i hit a plateau only because um you know like they say skinny fat i really wasn't skinny fat but i was looser and i didn't really know what to do it was more so changing my diet and picking up weights more i had one set of dumbbells for the last past few years i just got dumbbells this year so that's why i say i wasn't i was really just trying to lose the weight I did it, the, as I said, the old school way. Um, kind of like just getting all of that weight off first. And after getting all of the weight off first, then, you know, I was able to see myself. And I was able to see where I was at because I had a breast reduction in 2021, June 9th. Um, and by that time, I had lost like my first 40 pounds. And so my insurance gave me a breast reduction, paid for a breast reduction. Because I needed, I had a knot here, I had a hump, I had this, that, and the other. And so I did that. And um, for some of y'all, that y'all probably seen, some of my videos were deleted because I was confused during the whole YouTube and um, 
the kid thing but it's cool though um i kind of hate i deleted some of those videos because you could really see my size i still have a couple of those videos not all of them saved up but i still have a couple of those videos i still have some pictures um i might insert some of that some if, if if i can find them i know i just have like pictures of like my weight and stuff but i'll do a different video for that because what i'll do is look and see some of y'all that's been on my channel if you still here thank you for coming back and if you new welcome you're going to see more vlogs and stuff and more about art i've been doing art um okay i haven't been i, I didn't mean to say i've been i haven't been the last thing i did was not even for somebody else it was just in my sketchbook and um it was the end of December or beginning of January from now. Wait, I got the date on here. But I got the date you'll see when I finished. Yeah, the date show when I finished, not when it um started. So hold on. So this is it. Yep. Yeah, so that's literally ooh, let me change that light that's that isn't the last thing i did Ooh, i bet the page ooh. but um no i did something else too but um i haven't been i did some cards i did some birthday cards because y'all know i was really like into like doing cards for people and doing birthday cards this lighting is off. I'm using my phone. I've been disappointed, y'all. Okay. I did this after Christmas. This was after Christmas. Ouch. Yep, that's after Christmas. That'd be a cute thumbnail. That's why I'm looking like, hey, <laughs> you see? But that was after Christmas. Yeah, now you see it better now. Yeah, that was after Christmas that I did. So, yeah. So, I ain't been doing too much. I was just um reaching out to say hey. Um, y'all know how it get. My little hair is going. I need to flat iron it, but y'all know how it get. Um, some people go away get married. Some people go away. They just need some time for themselves. They need a little break. They need to focus on work, school, their children. Some people start relationships. I've been trying to date, and it's not that easy. Um, I'm not a big dater. Um, as you, you know, I only have one daughter. Never been married, not a lot of relationships, no living relationships, no none of that. And so for me, oh, and I, you know, I don't do the whole mess around thing. So because of that, I think people like me, we're more affected more. Um, I've been on interracial dating. Um, and there's good guys on there, but I think a lot, what I'm seeing a lot of from the men's side is a lot of them are afraid now. It's almost kind of like... And I'm not saying them all, but it's almost kind of like, oops, now I'm afraid that I want to do the right thing. I'm scared. That's why a lot of women are like, whatever. You know, and I'm not saying all men are like that, but it's kind of almost like that. And that's what I see a lot of. A lot of men that may not have been that good in their marriages or past relationships. And now they'll meet somebody awesome like myself. And then it's like, oh, I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Somebody canceled a date on me yesterday that I had prepared for. I, and I didn't get upset. Um... But I didn't really have to cancel anything, but I did go get my hair done on Friday. And it's still been, it ain't reverted, it's still been straight. I worked out, I'm just going to touch this up a little bit. But I just get a press, an old school press. But I said I have bought some, some hey dudes and a nice little top to go out to Cracker Barrel. But he changed his mind or whatever. But I don't, I don't got time for that. And my, my thing is, if you go on a dating site, whenever somebody flake out on you, do not i mean i'm telling you do 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 not feel bad don't cry don't do anything just move on and block them 
block them. If you message, message somebody and they don't say nothing within three days, block them. You know, but other than that, y'all, um, because I know a lot of, you know, dating online makes it easier to date now. But I think what the problem is, is it's kind of like flipping through a menu. Every meal going to have something on the plate that look good. Every girl going to have something about her that's awesome. Every girl going to have something about her that's sexy. So, so, so they saying, well, it's who I click with. But a lot of men aren't going by that. They going by, okay, I'm happy to talk to her. I'll put her right here. Then I talk to her. I'll put her right here. Do this, do this. And then what it's doing is it's, it's deterring and putting beer goggles, as they say, on them. Well, okay, she's it. But, shoot, she look a little bit more fun. Like, mm-mm. And see, you know, women do that too. No, I will not pick up the phone. Stop it. But y'all, ugly. Anyway, so I just wanted to say one more thing. And y'all, oh my gosh. All of y'all that's not super tech savvy like myself. And you, you know, the editing part is fine. It's the tech that gets me. I got a brand new camera, y'all. Okay. This is this Insta360 Pro, Ace Pro. I have to do a thumbnail. I might use that too. I don't know. But it's amazing. I think the problem that I'm having is my phone. I'm recording on my phone right now. My phone is almost five years old. And it's a note. My thing is I have not done anything yet as far as work or school or anything yet that I cannot do on this Note 20 Ultra. The only thing wrong now, it's got a little screen burn. But that's it. And so, I was like, well, why get a new phone if ain't no wrong? But I've had this camera for like three months now. And so, I haven't, well, not three months, almost three. At least two, I know. I got it for a birthday present for myself in February. So, I got the mic, the Booyah mic at work, then after the quick release mount, I got it all. I kind of had a moment today, I was trying to film this with it. I said, forget it, I'm just going to use my phone. I'll just use my phone. But anyway, so I'm going to get ready to get out of here. I don't even want to make this 15 minutes. But y'all, I will be back. I've been reading. Um, so, I've been doing a little bit of art y'all seen, but I've been reading. I'm going to show y'all this and I'm out. Um, Bless Water. So, she is a nun and a detective, assistant detective. She has her license. Like, her, no, she has a certificate, a detective certificate. So, she's not the head person, but she's working with the head lady. And she's a nurse. I'm the nurse. A, and a nun. You see, she got a square. She's smoking a square. That's probably menthol. <laughs> I'm just playing. But, um, as you can see, so this is called Blessed Water. Um, that's her. Go down Instagram. Flat out, blue dude. I seen this in um 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 well, Barnes and Noble. Her other one was Scorched Grace. Scorched Grace. But this is Blessed Water. All I will say is she's those things, but she's the type that is come as you are person. She's smoking, she's got some other secrets, but she decided I'm still gonna run for the Lord. And um now she's a detective. And this and this and this. The first case she was supposed to go on, the person wasn't there. But she was by the water. The priest floats up out of the water. That's that. But, um, yeah. So, that's my art. That's the book I'm reading. I bought some few, a few books this year. I'm not a booktuber like the fast booktuber to where I just do books. Y'all know that I've shown so much on my channel. That's you know, I switched my channel a few times and I realized the problem was not my content. It was just that I do, a, I have a variety of hobbies. Some people can just focus on one thing. I have a variety of hobbies. So y'all don't see a lot from me, but some of y'all know that already. You've seen all my Dooney and Burke bag openings back in the day, all of that. So you'll see a lot more. But anyway, I just wanted to come in and say, hey, Um, and I've been just, you know, dealing with my Graves disease and the depression that come along with it. Working on my health, I haven't stopped, and um, I think it'll be cool. But you know, navigating work and everything. But other than that, y'all, I'm Crystal. Stay blessed. I'm out. I will see y'all later. Peace.